in a fiery land called Murder. There's um, well, a paintbrush, really. And, and now he learns us to paint success. Welcome Reaper Miniature fans! Today we're painting the Fire Giant Huntsman with Hellhound. What this I'm going to do today is I'm going to mount this miniature onto a 100mm base boss base and I'm going to make a nice lava base using my air drying clay. This miniature was just, just been released on the Reaper Miniature website. You can check out all the links below my videos to the Reaper Miniatures websites. I've also got my favourite Amazon store page where I have all my items that I use on my videos listed in the Amazon shop that I have. So check that out as well too. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get this guy all primed up and we're going to go and work on the base together. Okie dokie then. I've got a 100mm base boss base, i got a little bit of air drying clay, got a couple of tools, i got a little pot with some water in. Um, now I am looking at making a lava base today, so what I want to do here is look where the miniature is and then I can work out where I can put my lava base box. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have one rock over here, like so, and one rock on this side just here, a little gap in the middle there, We're using our mini to work out the size, there we are, work out the size of the base and where our miniature is going to go. It's very simple, working with air drying clay is loads of fun. And you can just add or take away. So what I need is a little bit more here. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more rock just there. And a little hellhound looks fine just there. And what I'm gonna do is add one more tiny little rock here, just there. So we have the lava will flow through and the lava we all go around all the rocks at the bottom. Perfect. So what I need to do now is get this miniature, take him off. Now I'm just going to use my little finger. I'm going to smooth all this all down. Super, super easy using air drying clay. We uh, wet the clay and use our finger. This is to get rid of all your little fingerprint marks on the clay. That's all we do. And what happens now is we let this dry. The clay will come away from the base and then you just glue it back on with some PVA glue. So what I'll do is I will let this dry and I'll come back and show you what I do to the base. Okay, let's move on to the next stage. What I've done now is the clay was dry, so I re-glued it back to the base with some PVA glue. I have given the clay um, uh, a paint with some grey, and then I've covered the whole rocks with some black ink wash, and I gave it a couple of layers of black ink wash to give it that really dark look. Now what I'm going to do is paint the whole base with solid white by MSP. I'm going to give it a couple of coats, and then we'll come back. I've also given the Hellhound um, a couple of coats of solid white as well, because what we'll be doing is using some orange and red ink washes to add the lava effects to the base. So I'll come back once we get the base finished. I've also started blocking in the colors on my giant. I've used browns and some nice silver. Okay, let's add some lava effects. What I got here is uh, some very old ink washes. These are from the old games workshop from the 90s. Um, these are very nice colors. I got an orange and I got a red ink wash. You can use any ink washes you like, but I'm trying to use up all my old paints. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going straight into the orange ink wash and in the middle add the ink wash. 
Now we've added the white, um, two coats of white to really uh, give a bright undercoat to the lava. So we're just going around the center of all the white areas. Add in that ink wash. Just like so. There we are. The late wash is going on lovely. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my tissue. I'm sitting at it in camera. I'm going to use my tissue and just take a little bit out of the middles. This will give a very nice brightest area to the center of each of those lava pools because lava has a white center so we, we just try to highlight that part of the base and by using this tissue you're taking away the paint and giving access to the white below and this works beautifully for your lava effects so we're just dabbing off a little bit of the ink, as you can see. There we are, beautiful. And now I'm going to give my little brush a wash, take off the orange, and now we go into that red ink wash. And that red ink wash will give us our dark areas. Now the dark areas we want closest to the rock. So this is going tight up against the edge of the rock. And we're blending in the orange with that red going around your base. Super easy and it's really effective. Get it all nicely around the base. Tight up to the rock. This will give you lovely colour variations from the orange to red. Because the lava is closer to that rock, it's going to be not so hot, so it goes to a darker colour. Another way to check out lava flows is by going online and checking on Google. Google is always fantastic for looking for photos. So nearly done, we just add that more. Go around the back of this rock. And we are done. And the lava is already starting to flow. Looking fantastic. Now I'll let that dry and then I'll come back and I'll show you what I do next. Because what we do is we highlight the rocks so you've got a light source reflecting from the lava around the rocks. And that is just a little bit of dry brushing. But I'll wait until this dries and I'll come back and show you how we do that. Okay, so all the ink is dried and it's looking fantastic. What I've done now is I've dry brushed with a clear orange. You can just see it around the sides of the rock. So you go around all the sides and that gives you a nice light reflection. You can just see it there going around. So all you do is dry brush a little bit of that clear orange and that will give you that lovely reflection. Now the next stage is we go over all the area of the, of the lava with a gloss varnish. I'm using Army Painter. I'm going to give at least two coats on the top of that and I will show you that when it's finished. Now, another thing I've done is the Hellhound. The Hellhound had the two coats of Dragon White. 
and I've now covered the whole miniature with the orange ink wash and then turning it around you dry brush the dog with a black paint and what happens is that orange is glowing through the, through the black and it gives a fantastic effect so what I'll do is I'll finish off this dog as well but as you can see orange first and then all you do is dry brush black over the top on the highest areas and then later on I'll just paint in the eyes and make them a bit more glowy so that's all we need to do for the hellhound and what I'll do is I'll come back when that base has got the gloss varnish and all dried okay we've got two coats of gloss varnish now onto the lava lava flow now the last thing I want to do to finish off this base is I'm going to paint some coal black by MSP paints and I'm just going to add a few little dots on top of the lava and this is just going to go on top just like little rocks floating down the river so just little black spots just keeping them in a little group you find most lava flows have black tops here and there just little dots of black going along the lava flow where the rock is cooling down And right to the edge of the base. And a little big one just in the middle there. And the same inside. Just a few little stones. When this dries, it'll go matte, so it'll all work in nicely. Just some little. Dots going along. Same here. I want those little black lines, and this gives an awesome impression to the lava. There we are. Bringing them into the middle. Maybe just a little bit here, just on the junction of the of the lava flow. Just a few dotted around, like so. And let me see, just to even this out, just over here. And that is beautiful. I and just one last bit <laughs> I will finish in a minute <laughs> just in this corner this is where the lava is pooling up so that will be yeah, lovely beautiful there we are so this is how I do my lava bases what I'm going to do now is I'm going to finish the complete miniature come back and show you what it's like completed so here is the finished fire giant hunter and hellhound and the custom lava base as you can see the finished product with all the gloss varnish really enhances the colors and brings out all those flavors absolutely beautiful so like i say a couple of coats of gloss varnish on top of your lava gives you that lovely shine and it really does work well the same with the hound adding that black dry brush the the, the colors beneath the, the the fur look amazing they're all popping out at you um, and again covering that orange lava with some gloss varnish just brings out that color that you need to make it look fantastic so there we are this is my fire giant and i am super happy with this one if you enjoy what i do then please subscribe to the channel if you want to support the channel then please become my patron 
all patrons are added to the end credits of all my videos. Links are below the video for my Amazon shop where I use most of my um, products for on my channel. You can find my brushes and all sorts of things that I use. I've even put um, what I use to actually make my videos. So if you're a budding painter and you want to start your own video channel on YouTube or Twitch, then you can follow the links below on my Amazon page and I'll show you all the items I use to actually make my videos. So until next time.